August 4th of uh, 2015, my, my son passed away. He uh, died by suicide. Now, no one's ever prepared to lose someone that they love, but parents are especially unprepared to lose their children. So when it happened to a New Jersey family, they struggled to figure out some way to try to continue their son's legacy. For a long time, uh, way over a year, uh, we were really not able to, to do much other than just care for our other two children. You know, it, was, it was a struggle every day, uh, just, just dealing with the day. As we can all understand, the death of their oldest son, 17-year-old Dylan, gave the Vassallo family a different view of what truly matters in life. They withdrew from a lot of insignificant things like social media because it just seemed unimportant, even mean-spirited in the larger scheme of things. All the division, all the rancor, all the pettiness, you know, all the anger. I'm not saying people don't have a right to be anger, angry and people don't have a right to to post it, but to constantly. Dennis was spending more time in prayer and meditation and decided he wanted to do something that his son would appreciate. Dylan was extremely socially active, volunteering with everything from New Jersey food banks to home building in Honduras. His life inspired his father. One of the times I came out of meditation, um, the thought came to me about a kindness challenge. You know, they have the ice bucket challenge, that mannequin challenge, I don't even understand. <laughs> the Kindness Challenge Facebook group launched less than two weeks ago and has nearly 30,000 members already. They share stories of random kind acts, ask for help with their issues, and support each other, never forgetting that the agreed goal is to be kind daily. I can say to the cashier, how was your day? They could buy a coffee for the person behind them. And people have gone out of their way to now to, you know, to check on their uh, elderly neighbors. This has been going on for forever, but it's just that maybe we forget some of these things. The kindness challenge page, or really nothing else, can heal the Vassallo family. At that void's not going to be filled by any anyone or anything. It's um, you know we have a hole in us, and it's it's Dylan shaped. But their loss has inspired tens of thousands to remember that life can be too short to be anything but kind. I'm happy that uh, people are, you know, getting use out of it and it's become something that, that people find a little bright spot. And that the kindness challenge is something that their son would have gladly joined. I, I could see him starting a group like this and really being out there. Simply put, we should all take the kindness challenge for goodness sake. I'm Bill Anderson.